Here we are under the 86XJ. If you recognize that part, many of you will. Okay, so we got the Pitman arm coming off the steering gearbox. And this thing was moving in and out a little bit, so it's got a new one. Uh, it's approximately correct. It'll just, the steering wheel won't be quite centered one way or the other, but I'll adjust that later. But while I was doing that, <laughs> look what I found. That would be the steering damper. And it's not dampering so to speak. So that needs to be fixed. Um, so what you do when you're trying to get rid of a death wobble or a suspension problem is you go find the parts that are bad and replace them and see how you do. Now, there's something else I see I don't like, but I don't know if it's, if it's bad or not. See this bushing in here? I'm not so sure that's not splayed a little to one side. I think it might be worn out. And same with the other side. This is the front axle. So it's possible that those are toasted too. I can't really tell because I can't get a good view on them. But it looks like it. Anyway, then uh, that's it for this morning. It's I got out here at 5. It's now 6 a.m. Next thing I'm going to do is go up to the uh, adjustment on the top of the steering gearbox and give it just a maybe an eighth or a quarter of a turn tighter just to because this was moving a little bit in here just a tiny bit but it all adds up man I've had uh, death wobbles on this Jeep I've had them on a motorcycle and I've had them on model helicopters it's not just a, a Jeep thing all right well that's what I wanted to show you Nice and quick and simple. You just start with things that are messed up. Now what I did is I just had my girlfriend hop in the driver's seat and rotate the steering wheel back and forth about a quarter of a turn each way. And I could see this was loose, plus you could feel it clunk. You put your fingers here and you could feel it clunk. She said she could feel it clunk in the steering wheel. So you just have somebody do that while you're down here. Yes, the engine has to be running. And you see what's sloppy and you put your hands on it and it, it'll tell you a lot. It's not. It's not rocket science. Guessing is way more expensive. All right, that's it. See you, bye.